Hello, today we're going to be talking about heat stressed lawns. So let's get started. Well, welcome back to my green lawn. Today we're going to talk about this hot, this hot ball up in the sky and the problems that will cause in our lawns. Um, you know, cool season lawns like tall fescue and stuff like that, um, they're able to take you know, a, uh, a soil temperature, a root zone temperature of about 85 degrees. That's maximum. Um, so once, once we start getting above that 85 degrees, um, our lawns are under heat stress. And we've had, I don't know, six or seven days of 90 plus degrees, and I'm sure our soils are hot. So the only way to find out is with a soil thermometer and I'm going to go ahead and open this baby up and uh, we're going to take the temperature. Um, I want to put a link in the description to these thermometers. I have a couple of them. They work really well. Um, so the air temperature is different than soil temperature. So we have to take the soil temperature, put this in the ground, maybe about an inch and a half, two inches. We want the root zone temperature. Um, so even though the lawn is able to take temperatures up to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, the cool season lawns, doesn't mean that even, you know, let's just say the, the soil temperature is at 80 or degrees. It doesn't mean that that's not doing any harm or that the lawn is happy or loves it. It's still under stress conditions. It's just not maxed out to that 85 degrees. So let's just do it real quick. We're gonna put this in the ground and see what our uh, temperature is. Okay, so put this in the ground, a couple of inches. We'll let that do its thing. Okay, it's only been in the ground for a minute or two, but it looks like we're getting close to that 90 degrees, like 89 degree mark. So the soil temperature in this particular spot is like 89 degrees. And I just got done telling you that the maximum temperature that your lawn is comfortable with, maximum is 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so right now, my lawn is not liking this temperature at all and it is under heat stress. Um, now I just felt that the ground, the ground is very moist because I watered this morning um, and I kept my lawn, my lawn is long, so the roots are being shaded, all that's going to help. Now let's go over to a part of the lawn that is a lot shorter, um, actually not even my lawn, my neighbor's, and let's see what the temperature is over there. Okay, here's a spot on my neighbor's yard that's not doing so well. Let's stick the thermometer in here. Oh, and it's a lot harder to go in because... Okay, my lawn over there, I'm more, it's at probably about four inches or four and a half inches right now. Um, and I watered and it's nice and cool over there. It's like 89 degrees, which is still pretty hot. Now you can see, I just put that in the ground 30 seconds ago and it's already at 100 degrees. So this lawn here, this part here is cooking, okay? There's nothing to keep the soil cool. The grass is really, sh it's shorter here. It's and it's, it's thin and it's dying. Um, and we're at 100 degrees, okay? This is obviously the soil is not moist here. Um, it is really hard to push that thermometer in the ground. So this is what I'm talking about. We have to watch our soil temperatures in our lawn. And one way to cool them down is you could do some misting. You could take a mister either by hand and you could just mist your lawn and the mister will help cool your lawn down a little bit and that will lower that temperature. Okay, here's the same area in my neighbor's yard. Here's where the thermometer was and we're just gonna move it over to here. And again, the grass is a little shorter. It's the same area, let's, and, uh, but it's greener here. So let's just see what we get for a temperature in this spot. And I'm not giving it a whole lot of time but after 30, about 30 seconds or so of having this thing in the ground, we're already looking at 90 degrees. So it's about the same as what my front yard was over on the other side. So again, the uh, soil temperature at 90 degrees is, is too hot. This lawn is under heat stress. 
Okay, so with just that little test over there that we did in my lawn, about 90 degrees in kind of a thin spot over there, uh, where it's, there's no shade at all, there's no lawn grass, there's no tall grass, there's nothing to keep the root zone cool over 100 degrees. Um, so again, cutting your lawn longer, shading out those roots, shading out the soil, is really gonna help you keep that temperature down in your lawn and put it under less stress. Then if you have time and you can go out there with a, with a sprinkler head and put it on mist. You know like those misters they have at the state fair or the mister that you see at the bar where there's just kind of misting water on everybody. Obviously that's cooling people down, just having a little mist in the air, right? Well, if you could do the same thing for your lawn, just put that thing on mist and just mist the area, cool the area down a little bit. That's going to go a long way in just giving the lawn a little bit of relief so it's not so hot, stinking hot. So um, anyways, just some food for thought. I'll put a link to this thermometer down in the description. Feel free to get yourself, uh, pick, it, pick yourself up one of these. Okay, so here I'm showing you some of the burnt lawn. This is in no way dissing anybody other than to show you that the extreme heat that we've been having 90s through 100 degrees temperatures Fahrenheit is really doing number on a lot of different lawns and what comes into play to prepare your lawn for these conditions is proper fertilizing proper weed control, proper watering. All those things done on a regular ba basis as regular maintenance will help your lawn prepare for, for times like this to be able to help withstand the heat stress a little bit better. Yeah. Okay, I'll put a link to this thermometer in the description down below. And, uh, Go ahead and get yourself one. Find out where your temperature is of your soil. Find out how much stress your lawn is in. Um, again, you want to keep that under 85 degrees if you, if you all can. Um, that's not always possible to do, but the more you can help your lawn, the better your lawn's going to look. Please cut your lawns above three inches, especially in these really hot, hot days. Let the thing go. The next time you cut it, maybe cut it at four inches is what I'm probably going to do on this. I'm probably going to cut it at four inches. I'll probably continue to cut it at four inches until this heat goes away. Then I'll lower it. But um, now you can have success with mowing lower. Um, but you're probably going to go through a lot more water. And you're going to put the lawn under additional stresses. And we're trying to avoid putting our lawns under stresses. The other thing we want to do is we don't want to be putting down any weed killers, stuff like that, anything negative that might negatively impact our lawns. So keep the negatives off the lawn right now. Don't push our lawns with growth, right? We don't want to use a high nitrogen fertilizer right now. Um, so we don't want to promote any growth at this point. So um, if you like our videos, please go ahead and give us a like down below. If you love our videos and we're helping you produce a healthy green lawn, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Either way, we appreciate our viewers. We appreciate our subscribers. Without you, this channel would not be possible. We, our goal is to help you all create green lawns on a budget. Okay, without spending a fortune, you also can have a great lawn. If you know a little bit about what your lawn is doing, just learn some of the basics. And uh, with that, I'll see you in the green. You have a great night.